I am taking Dr. Fung's online MBA economics course this semester. So am I. Me too. Why are you all taking an online course? Cause I think it will take less time. Why do you think it will take less time? Well, for one thing, I don't have to commute and attend classes in person. But you still have to study reading assignments and watch online lectures. Right. I take an online course because I can time shift to fit my working schedule and lifestyle. Me too. But also I like online lectures because I can rewind the lectures any time and study at my own pace. True. It is easier to self-pace online lectures. And if the lectures are well scripted and produced, a 15-minute online lecture can cover as much materials as one and half hour in class lectures. My friend told me Dr. Fung's lectures are professionally scripted and produced. They can cover difficult topics very efficiently at much less time. And with my laptop, I can study the course materials anytime and anywhere. Right. And I travel a lot for my job. I really appreciate this flexibility. I know all these upsides. Are there any downsides to online courses? Online courses are harder for the less motivated students who need a lot of hand-holding to keep them on track. And they end up blaming the instructors for getting the bad grades they deserve. Let's get Dr. Fun on the phone. Dr. Fun, this is John. How many hours do you think we should spend studying for your course per week? Good question, John. With three hours of class time and two hours of commuting time saved, you should spend at least five hours per week studying for this course. And of course, there are also the weekly online quizzes and bi-weekly short answer writing assignments. But all these assignments are easily manageable bite-sized units. Okay, see you online.